opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. Nx e5 captures the undefended e5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. c4 takes space in the center, attacks the d5 pawn and prepares to develop the queen's knight behind the c pawn. And b4 attacks the bishop on d3. B2 avoids the peace exchange by retreating the bishop to safety. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. Takes back. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This defends the attacked pawn. It is the last book move. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This threatens to fork pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing queen is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a mistake. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This is the way to win a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 